Hey kids, Flexing Teacher Weber here. Um, we've been studying algebraic patterns. We've been taking them, uh, number patterns and picture patterns. We've been finding the algebra in them. We've been uh, graphing them. Uh, now we're going to do things a little bit different. We're going to start with an algebra e expression and we're going to get some data from that expression. We're going to solve them by substitution. We've sort of been doing this a little bit already, but we're going to focus more on it in this, uh, this lesson today. Let me show you what I mean. So this instruction says to solve each expre expression for the given value. So again, the expression is x minus 2. The variable is x. And in this case, we've been given that the value of x is equal to negative 3. So all we do is we substitute the value given for x into the expression. So we're going to work down the page. We're going to say replace the x with negative 3, and we have negative 3, positive 2. We have to think back to our integers. The signs are different. It's a negative and a positive, so we subtract them. And we have more negatives, so the answer is negative 1. So when x is negative 3, this expression works out to negative 1. It's really just working with integers, but in an algebraic way. Let's take a look at number 2. Uh, the expression is x minus 4, and we're going to substitute in negative 5 for x. So I put an equal sign at the front of my step. I work down the page, negative 5, negative 4. Um, the signs are the same. I have 5 negatives. I have 4 negatives, so I add them up, and the answer is negative 9. Okay, we'll get a little bit more tricky. So we've got an expression here. The expression is 4x plus 2. Now, remember the 4x means 4 multiplied by some unknown number. This means multiplication. We've been given that the value of x here is 3, so we're going to work down the page. 4, we're going to replace the x with 3. But this is going to be 4 times 3. Now, we don't want to use the x to represent multiplication because x represents some unknown number. So to show that this is 4 times 3, we're going to put parentheses around the 3, and that means 4 times 3, we still have plus 2. Now, when we're doing a question that has both multiplication and adding in it, we do the multiplication first. So we'll work down the page, put an equal sign, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2, and then do 12 plus 2 is 14. Okay, so um, that's an expression where we had to do two number operations, and we always do the multiply before the addition. Okay, number four. Nine minus two x, and in this case, x is equal to three. Well, we're gonna replace the x with three this time, and remember, the two x means two multiplied by some unknown number. So I'm going to work down the page. I'm gonna put an equal sign in front of my step. I'm gonna put nine minus two but I'm going to substitute the x with 3, but remember this means 2 times 3, and I'll show that multiplication by putting parentheses around the 3. Now remember, multiplication comes before subtraction, so I'm going to do 2 times 3 is 6, and I'm going to make sure I write that answer to 6, the answer of 6 right below the 2 times 3. I still have a minus sign, I still have a 9, so this is 9 minus 6. And then working down the page still, 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. So always multiplication before addition and subtraction. Now look at this last one. It's got two variables, two unknown numbers. It's got an x and a y. So this means 3 multiplied by some unknown number minus another number. And in this case, the x is equal to 2, the y is equal to 3. So we're going to substitute, substitute those values in for x and y. We're going to write equals 3 multiplied by 2 because x is equal to 2 minus 3 because y is equal to 3. We do the multiplication first. So 3 times 2 is 6 minus 3 because we still have the minus 3 from up here. And then still working down the page, that is equal to so that's called solving by substitution you're going to have an assignment on this today and 
you have to show all of your steps one step at a time going down the page. Um, I hope that helps. That's all for now. Flexing Teacher Weber, out.